Rapper Lil Durk, a distinguished figure in the hip-hop scene, is currently grappling with the imminent specter of imprisonment. Reports from sources close to him suggest that his legal team is tirelessly preparing for a potential criminal indictment. The spotlight falls on Fulton County's lead prosecutor, Fannie Willis, known for indicting hip-hop artists, alleging their pivotal roles in criminal organizations. Notably, Young Thug and Gunna have already faced indictment and charges under Georgia's RICO statute, resulting in their current incarceration without bail and the looming threat of lengthy prison sentences. Dirk's inner circle discloses that Georgia prosecutors are honing in on individuals associated with Dirk's label, OTF, tempting them with deals to provide information against Dirk. Insiders suggest that it's merely a matter of time before someone succumbs to the pressure and agrees to cooperate, potentially implicating Dirk. Despite these formidable legal challenges, another close associate staunchly asserts Dirk's innocence, vehemently refuting any claims of his involvement with a gang and emphasizing that OTF is a label, not a criminal organization. In anticipation of a potential indictment, Dirk's legal team has bolstered its ranks and is gearing up for a confrontational legal battle with the prosecutor. Notably, Dirk has taken proactive measures by shutting down his Instagram page, deleting all past posts that could potentially link him to ongoing investigations by Georgia. Prosecutors His Instagram, a platform with tens of millions of followers crucial to promoting his music, now remains eerily inactive. Delving into the legal context, a RICO case, originally designed to target mob bosses, proves remarkably effective against criminal organizations, even within the hip-hop industry. Unlike traditional criminal cases, RICO doesn't mandate direct involvement in physical crimes. Instead, prosecutors need to establish membership in a criminal organization and involvement in at least two minor crimes supporting the organization's goals. For rappers, these minor crimes often involve financial support to known gang members. The article concludes with a comprehensive explanation of how RICO operates within the legal framework. Amidst the tumult, a looming question arises, are the feds coming for Dirk next? Lil Dirk vehemently denies allegations of being an informant against the late King Vaughn. Yet these rumors resurfaced due to assertions made by Charleston White. White, known for his controversial online statements, brought up these claims in a widely circulated interview on Saturday, November 25th. In the interview, White insinuates that Vin's demise was a consequence of attempting harm on someone smaller than him. He criticizes Dirk, asserting that Dirk evaded legal consequences and shifted blame on Devon suggesting that Dirk may have cooperated with authorities against his deceased associate. White goes further to claim that Dirk isn't a killer, unlike Vaughn, and underscores that others in the industry are merely involved in singing and rapping. He alludes to an incident in 2019 involving Dirk, where the rapper turned himself in for charges related to a shooting outside an Atlanta restaurant. Both Dirk and King Vaughn faced serious charges, but the case against them was dropped in October of that year. Referring to the dismissal, White speculates that witnesses may have met. Untimely fates hinting at a connection to King Vin's rise to stardom. Notably, Lil Dirk faced accusations of snitching in 2013, which he refuted by sharing legal documents on Instagram, highlighting his unwillingness to incriminate a friend during the arrest. Despite the controversies, Dirk's attorney celebrated the dismissal of charges in 2019, emphasizing that the right decision was made, allowing Dirk to move past the events. Earlier this year, Dirk defended himself against snitching accusations stemming from the 2013 arrest, reinforcing his stance against cooperating with authorities. As the legal saga unfolds, the question remains, are the feds indeed coming for Dirk next?